Hi everyone. Um, it's me again. I just wanted to thank you very much for watching the previous video, if you did. And I'm really glad that some of you enjoyed it. Today I'm back again because I wanted to show you some of the things in my my craft box. Basically it's this yellow box and inside there are all kinds of things to do little art projects with. I'm not going to show you everything, um, just some of the more interesting things because there are some, there are some boring things in here like glue and scissors. That Anyway, it's this yellow basket. And I've already taken out all the things that I want to show you. So, let's get started. First of all, I have something quite interesting. This is a little packet full of something called brads. I don't know if you know what brads are, but if you have some paper and you want to hold the two pieces of paper together, what you can do is punch a hole and then pop in one of these brads. And they have two um, metal prongs and if you spread those metal prongs open they act as a stopper and they hold your paper together so I got some really nice decorative ones I have red ones with spots And then I have lime yellow ones with checks and black and white ones with checks. And if you look closely, even some orange ones with stripes. They just look really cute and they're a different way to hold your documents together. Next, I have something really interesting. I have these two candles. They're made from a kind of wax called sealing wax. They've got ridges in front. And I have a gold one. and a silver one and the way that these work is that you need one of these this is a sealing wax kit see that it's a little bit old with age, yellow, you know, but it's really cool. Inside it comes with, I'll show you,
basically has two components. First, there's the red candle. And you can see that this has already been melted a few times. And then, if you put it together with these three, you can see that they're all the same brand. Next component is the seal. And this has my initial on it um, with some pattern surrounding it. And it's an S right there. And how this works is you take your candle and you light it and then you hold it over the paper and you let the wax drip down onto the paper. And while it's still wet, you get your seal and you just press it right into the surface of the paper. And when you pull it off, you should get a melted wax puddle that looks like this, but with your seal in the middle. It just looks really cool. I don't use it for that many letters, only special ones, but it looks really nice when I do. Let me just put this back. You can see by the length of the space given for the candle and the height of the actual candle that I've only burnt that much of it. Let me put in the gold and the grey candle as well. They're really marvelous colors. The gold especially has little bits of black in it and when it melts it becomes this burnished antique gold color. It's really nice. The third thing that I have is something that you may have seen before. These are called craft punches. And if you've ever seen them before, what they do is that they have a little punching component on the bottom and at the top there's a picture. This one is a strawberry. It's so cute. <laughs> so you get a piece of paper basically and If I just tear off a piece to show you, you get your craft punch and you slip the paper in and then you just punch. And in the paper, you get a hole with this picture of a strawberry in it. It's so cute. Just imagine how that would look on the pages of your journal. It could be really nice. And on the other hand, you get a little tiny strawberry that's come out from the bits that you punched. So that's really nice and I have two. I have a strawberry and a 
snowflake, red, and blue. Sorry about the glare. Sorry. The last thing that I have to show you is my sticker collection and my letter paper. I decided that I was going to get stickers and pretty letter paper because they would make writing letters so much more interesting and receiving them so much fun. So I have this set of stickers which is just metallic lady parts with red black polka dots. Really nice. And then I've got these jelly stickers. And these are dogs. They're really nice. There's white dogs and black dogs. And there's even a tiny bone and a heart. They're puffy stickers, which means that if you look at them from the side, they actually puff up. And you can press them. <laughs> They're really soft. With a similar pattern, I've got cats as well. White cats and black cats. And then I have this really cool sheet of Korean stickers. And I really like these. Let me show you what's inside. They're basically sheets of stickers printed on transparent paper. And when you peel them off and you put them on the paper, they show lines through the back so that it looks as if you've just drawn these characters right onto your paper. They make letters look so nice. There are four sheets. I really like these. So I try to use them as slowly as possible. These were from Artbox. Oh no, sorry, they were from Stationery Island. If you like them. So that's all the stickers that I have. Now you might like to look at some of the letter paper that I got. I've got this beautiful patchwork letter paper from Stationery Island as well. Just look how lovely it is. It has two ducks, male and female, one with a blue bowl and one with a pink bowl. And 
in the background. There's polka dots in the wallpaper. Some green ones. And stripes. Little tiny daffodils. Just imagine what it would be like receiving a letter like this folded up in your mailbox. Really lovely. I also have this one. Which is pretty unusual because there's a surprise inside. The envelope is just normal pink. But inside the envelope is pretty flowers. It's so beautiful. There's a daffodil and tulip. And right in the midst of the garden, there's two people standing there. And the paper on the back is also covered with the same pattern. In front, it's just these lines. This was from Hotbox, as you can see. And it's really pretty. The last bit of paper that I have is also really, really beautiful. It's also from a box. On the front, you have these lines, long lines, and blue and green balloons, some more balloons, tiny Eiffel Tower in the distance. But the envelope is truly stunning. Ah, look at that. It's so pretty. It's a cat on a bicycle. A little mouse on a skate scooter. Imagine getting this envelope in your mailbox. I just think it makes receiving mail that much more special. And at the top, there's an inscription that says, please always know that I love you more than anything else in the world. So that's it for my crafts box. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and please feel free to comment, rate, even subscribe if you like. Um, I hope you have a good week and I'll be back with another video soon. Thank you. Bye.